To understand the mathematics of PCA, we need a couple of different things. We need a little bit of math, which I'm going to talk about now because I'm the math guy, and then we need a little bit of statistics, which Jono will talk about in the next video because he's the statistics guy. So the math that we need to know is we need to know a little bit about matrices, eigenvalues, and eigenvectors. So first, matrices. Matrices are grids of numbers which are sometimes useful in mathematics. Here's your first matrix. This is what we call a two by two matrix because it's got two rows and two columns. Uh, so the thing that we, uh, the thing about eigenvalues and eigenvectors, they involve values and vectors. So the thing we need to know is what happens when we take this matrix and we multiply it by a vector. So let's do that. Here's a vector, one, one. Now the way that this matrix multiplication works uh, is to get the first row uh, of the resulting vector. You take the first row, the top row of the matrix, and then multiply it by this vector here. And you do, the way that you do that is you go two times one plus one times one. So two times one plus one times one is three. That goes into the first row of our, of our vector. To get the second row from the vector over here, you take the second row of the matrix and multiply it by this vector. So to do that, we go one times one plus two times one. One times one plus two times one is three again. So that's our vector, and that's how you do the matrix multiplication. Now you notice something interesting about this. I've got three and three, so I can actually write this in a slightly simpler form. I can do three times one and one. So if I do three times one, three times one, I get three and three. So this is something unusual, right? Um, I've got a, a vector here, which when I multiply it by a matrix, I end up with the same vector that I started with times some number, which is three in this case. So we say in general that whenever something like this happens, whenever I take a matrix times a vector, and if I multiply them together, I get the same vector back multiplied by a number, lambda equals three, then we call V an eigenvector of the matrix M and lambda, an eigenvalue of the matrix M. So here we actually have an eigenvector, V1 equals 1, 1 of this matrix M, and its corresponding eigenvalue is lambda 1 equals 3. And it turns out that this particular matrix happens to have another eigenvector and eigenvalue, uh, and they are V2 equals negative 1, 1, not one, negative one, and lambda two equals one. So if you plug this vector uh, and this uh, value into this equation here, you should get this relationship holding. So that's what eigenvalues and eigenvectors are. Now the second piece of the puzzle that we need is of, uh, of covariance matrices, and that's what Jono was going to talk about in the next video.